we are going to get started. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining our wedding attire and COVID-19 webinar, where we're going to answer all of your top questions. I'm your host, Kristen Maxwell Cooper. I'm the editor-in-chief of The Knot. First and foremost, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. It certainly is an unprecedented time for us as a human race and for those of us who are planning weddings. We know that the dress shopping experience is one of the most anticipated and exciting parts of the wedding planning process. And unfortunately, COVID-19 has impacted weddings as a whole and is forcing us to really rethink how we go about our planning with the dress shopping experience obviously top of mind. Um, so whether you've received your dress and you're, you still need alterations, whether you're waiting for your dress to arrive or you're thinking about shopping for a dress um, because you, you know, whether that was right before the pandemic hit or you recently got engaged, today we are here to answer all of your wedding dress questions and how to best work with your local bridal salons and designers to get you the dress of your dreams. So thank you for all of your questions in the Slido. Um, we uh, will do a live Q&A towards the end of the session, answering some of those questions. But before we get there, I'd like to introduce an incredible line of experts today. We have Crystal Liu, who is Creative Director of Casablanca Bridal, Justin Warshaw, CEO and Creative Director of Justin Alexander. We have Beth Chapman, owner of The White Dress by the Shore. We have Nairi, owner of Lavella Bridal, and Wendy Rivera, owner of Ava Loren Bride and founder of Do You Speak Bride. So thank you so much to our panelists for being here today. We are so appreciative to have your expert voices helping out all of our not readers and, um, and users. So um, let's go ahead and just jump right in. We have a lot of questions and we wanna make sure that we get to all of those. So our first question, this one is going to Nairi. So if someone already has their dress, but still needs alterations, what should they do while the shops are temporarily closed? So the first thing you want to do is reach out to the store so that they can best guide you on your individual needs in terms of your timeline and how much work your gown is going to need to have done. Another thing is that finding out when they're going to reopen. So a lot of different stores are doing different things to communicate with brides when they'll be reopening. At Lavella Bridal, we have an email list. You can hop on, put your email in, and you'll receive an email when we reopen to contact us. So you just wanna find out what is the best way to find out when your store reopens. And that way you can really schedule it according to plan. Be available as soon as they reopen and they tell you to be in that store, be in there so that they can get your alterations done for you on time. Another thing that you can do is make sure to have your shoes. Your shoes are super important because that determines the length of your gown and your bustle. The last thing that you can be working on while you're at home is make sure to maintain the weight you want to be for your wedding, because once those alterations are done, if you lose or gain weight, it needs to be readjusted again. So you will be able to save a lot of time in terms of your alterations if you can maintain your body weight where you want it to be for your wedding. Great. Thank you. Of course. Um, the shoes are a great, are, are a great point. Um, so the second question. And this one's going to Beth. To be weds are unfortunately having to cancel bridesmaids dress appointments. Are there any suggestions on how to continue shopping during this time? So for bridesmaids or bridal or both? Both. Let's do both. It was specific around bridesmaids, but let's do both. Yeah. So, you know, they're absolutely Absolutely are ways. Um, the first way is that a lot of stores are actually offering virtual appointments right now for both bridal and bridesmaids. So just, you know, make sure that you're reaching out to the store that you're interested in shopping with. I think right now, um, while everyone's at home, it's the perfect time to be really understanding your wedding day style and how you want to look and how your bridal party, how you want your bridal party to look on your wedding day and researching the bridal stores that you think are going to be the best fit for you and then reach out to them and understand what their process is currently. So perhaps they can do a virtual appointment with you where they will take you through their collection of either bridal, bridesmaid, or even accessories um, and help you through the process of narrowing down your selections. And some stores are taking it one step further and even allowing you to borrow either wedding gowns or bridesmaids dresses to try on at home, especially if you're in a short time frame. Great, thank you. 
And this next one is uh, for you, Justin. So if someone still plans on getting married on their original date, but they're going to push out their wedding and their celebration in for 2021, do you suggest that they wear their original dress? So funny, this is a great question, first of all, and it's something that even one of our team members is considering. So her original wear date was the end of April, and she actually wants to keep it. So in the end, what she's decided to do is wear the dress now and actually wear it again. So this is what this is a new unique, unique opportunity for brides where they're actually able to wear their dresses twice. So um, it's really case by case. But if you've already had your alterations done and your dress is at home, I encourage you, why not wear it now and then wear it and show everyone in person when you um, when you're actually able to celebrate as a group. And um, I would I would definitely recommend you wear your dress now. Absolutely. I got my dress. I never wanted to take it off. So I, and another, so, another opportunity to wear it. Yeah. And something we're actually doing at Justin Alexander is we plan to have like a, a rewear bride at home um, challenge soon where we're going to encourage brides that have already worn Justin Alexander dresses to put those on and just, you know, do daily activities at home. So we really encourage brides to absolutely get in those dresses. Why not? You have them. Great. Um, our next question is for Wendy. What is unique about buying at a boutique, whether that's virtually or in person? Uh, first of all, I, I want to just kind of piggyback off of what Justin just said. I, I just love that. It's not even just the fact you've got them, why not? It's the fact that they bring so much joy. You know, they, they, they just make you feel a certain way, wedding dresses do. Uh, they, they represent the future. They represent the present. They represent the past. They represent everything about us that is the deepest parts of us. And to put those on right now and remind ourselves who we are, and then like, as long as we can fit into them still, which I, I yeah, well, that's, that's another story, but, uh, but just, it's so important. And I, I wanna say to the brides out there who are on this, you know, the reason that this panel is here, the reason that we're all doing this is, um, it's because you absolutely should be celebrated, period. You know, yes, we're all suffering through like uh, this pandemic together, but that does not define who you are and it doesn't define your wedding. It's a part of your story, but it's you and, and the love that you share that is the definition of what your wedding is. Um, so it, there, there are some cool things that the whole industry has worked together to create because of this pandemic, which you get to like benefit from because everybody's been thinking outside of the box of new things to do and special things to do. And it's because of what we believe. As boutiques, a unique thing about boutiques is it's such a personalized experience. It's not just everybody's the same, you're a number, get herded in, herded out. Um, it, it, it isn't that, it's the opposite. And I think if this pandemic has done anything positive, it has forced us all personally and professionally to reevaluate what we value, to reevaluate what's important about life, about who's important to us, what are real moments actually to us. And it's kind of chipped away at all of the things that are, are peripheral and shallow and um, just the outer things. And it's, it's made us focus on the things that are most important. And I'll tell you, you guys as brides are the most incredible help to this right now to the world because you're experiencing love in a very powerful way in your life. And I just want to encourage you, don't be quiet about it. I, some of you, we've, we've talked to a lot of brides and they've just been overflowing with excitement to talk to us because everyone else, they feel a little bit maybe awkward to talk about how excited they are or their joy or their love. Like they're a little afraid to be excited. Um, and we want to just communicate to you strongly from, you know, from myself, from, from our shop, but from all boutiques feel the same way and designers in the industry feel the same way. Your love should be celebrated and it needs to be shouted from the rooftops. So I would say a unique thing about boutiques is the customized experiences. Listen, if you're, if you're looking for, I need a dress off the rack, I'm looking for a great deal, but an amazing design, boutiques are the only place for that. Like designers, the way they construct dresses is so incredible. Like I'm amazed at what they can do with wedding gowns, both for the feeling of the wedding dress um, on and what it expresses. And all of us boutiques, the, the, re the authorized retailers out there that carry designer gowns, 
um, we're obsessed with the designs that we carry because of the partners that we have and because of what they create. So you can buy a dress off the rack and right now boutiques have a lot of stock in all sizes and frankly in many price points. So you can actually score an incredible deal clearance wise purchasing something and going and wearing it and after you get it, get it tweaked to you. Make sense? So like there's, there's that. It's unique to boutiques it, because we want to provide that for whoever needs that. But it, then it goes all the way up to customized experiences. You know, like boutiques have focused on how do we make this journey uh, individualized for each bride. So whether it's uh, an after hours appointment, you know, a lot of boutiques now have VIP experiences where you've got the whole shop to yourself. Um, I know at our boutique, we do a princess treatment, right? So it's like, after hours, we have 10,000 square feet that's all yours and all the gowns there and you can bring up to eight people and we have a full spread of food and whatever music you want and it's each one, there are surprises to it that we customize to you. So when you look at boutiques across the country, there are individual things that they offer, whether it's, look, I want to come in quick and get a gown or I want to have a little more private experience um, or I want to have something that um, I only bring uh, one, the closest person to me, but it's still expressing who I am. Whatever your dream is of finding your dress, maybe you're not a fussy dress person. Boutiques are the perfect place for you. Maybe you're like, I want to party like crazy. Boutiques are the ones that are going to let you do it. So it, it's just a very different experience than clicking a button and saying yes to a dress uh, like, like you would to, like, you know, we got some barn doors for our, our bedroom. You can buy that online and you're taking a little risk, but you're okay with it. You really can't go too wrong, right? Wedding dresses are totally different. It's inc incredibly different than that. So it's, you know, even if you're customizing a dress, and this is another thing that's unique to boutiques, it's the stylists themselves that are the security for you as a bride. The stylists themselves. That's why virtual appointments right now are, are so hot and working well for many boutiques out there. You're working with a real stylist who knows the dresses, who knows how to walk you through it and show you how they move and show you up close to the camera. And, and then if you get to take them to your house, you get to see them as well. We're about providing security for you as brides. That's what boutiques are about. It's about providing security for you so that you're not buying something like totally sight unseen, have no idea if this is even cheap feeling or amazing, what it feels like on your frame. We can tell you all of those things, whether it's virtually or in person. And that stylist makes all the difference. They're not just styling you and, and, and advising you just on the fashion, which they do, but it's on so much more than that. We're, we're there to create the moments that you're looking to have. So they'll follow you through the whole journey. I mean, at, at big box stores or online, I will tell you a major difference. Who do you have to constantly stay in contact with who will track everything for you and make sure everything's good and inspect it when it comes in and give you all the right advice? I'm telling you, it's for your security and we love it for you. We just fully believe a wedding isn't something to, to take any risks with. It's something where you should feel secure, taken care of, celebrated, and that your story is being written in an amazing way. And uh, even now, in fact, I would say especially now, there are a lot more opportunities for you to pull the people close to you that you love and find the dress of your dreams. Thank you, Wendy. Um, so to our next question, and, and Wendy, you started to touch on this, but the, um, Crystal, this question's for you. Many weddings are being postponed to winter 2020. We obviously are hearing even, um, you know, some weddings may even be pushed to 2021. What should those who want to maybe change the style of their gown do in these situations? Perhaps they were getting married in the summer or the spring, and now they have to get married in the winter. Um, what are your suggestions for that? Yeah, well, so my first answer um, would just be, honestly, you do you, girl. No date or season can change the fact that the dress you chose is the dress you fell in love with. You know, wear that gown with confidence. Chances are, when you were in the store picking your gown, you weren't picking it with the intention of it to go out of style anytime soon. That's sort of, um, you know, the beauty with gowns is that they have this timeless quality to them. But, you know, now if you're worried more about the practicality side of the gown, like staying warm in a strapless gown in the middle of winter, then yes, I completely understand the concern. I am from California, so the second it drops below 70, I'm gonna die. So um, rest assured, there are so many cute solutions for that problem. Um, the easiest is of course to accessorize and layer up. You know, you can choose a decoratively beaded cape or throw on a furry shawl to keep you warm. Um, for the more non-traditional bride, I would 100% recommend a you know, custom denim or leather jacket. There are definitely tons of cute, cost-effective options out there. Um, that won't cost you a fortune. It just requires a little research to find, and um, you know you can even match with your groom. 
Um, but if you don't want to accessorize, then there are definitely some things that can be done in alterations. Um, you can add long sleeves for a new look or build up the bodice, you know, to provide a little more coverage or warmth. And um, with Casablanca specifically, we're a bit unique as a designer because we actually own our own factory as well, which means we are in complete control of the entire production process. So if you are a Casablanca bride and you want to customize your gown, then absolutely we can do it. Um, we actually, you know, make every single gown made to order. We never mass produce. So even if you're ordering a standard gown from our standard size chart, that gown was made from scratch specifically for you. Um, now the cost of the customization, of course, will vary based on how elaborate or intricate you are customizing because we do some customizations that involve um, combining two, three, sometimes four different gowns into one for a whole new look. Um, and, you know, another option that might not be for everyone is to keep your original gown and wear it for your reception or ceremony and get a second gown for a second look, you know, have a Lady Gaga moment and embrace that wardrobe change because if there's any day to be extra, this is it. So really the options are limitless. It all comes down to um, what is important to you and what makes you feel beautiful. Great. I love that. Um, so our next question, um, Nairi, how should a to-be-wed measure themselves at home? Great question. So <laughs> definitely you're going to want to get advice from your store that you're ordering from because each manufacturer size chart are a little bit different. Some require more measurements than others. The most standard across the board is going to be the bust, waist, and hip measurement. Uh, what we've been doing at Lavella Bridal is I actually took a video of me measuring myself to send to our brides. But again, certain designers may require something different. So based on that specific order, I'll make another video to email over, with it, which is super detailed, giving you the proper instructions on how to do it so that there's zero margin for it for air. So back to Wendy's question, this is also why it's so valuable to be ordering from an expert, from a boutique that specializes in bridal, because we're going to be able to best guide you to make sure there's zero margin for air, because as you all know, those dresses are made for you, made to order, and you really don't want to make any mistakes on the sizing. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, so our next question is for Justin. How can someone start shopping for a dress while staying home? What are some tips for choosing what to wear virtually? That's a great question. And it's something that we're working really hard on right now. So first of all, um, you want to start out with doing a little research. So you could research obviously on the knot.com has a fantastic uh, gallery for all the different dresses from all the different designers. Um, you can also use Pinterest or Instagram to research and make yourself a board that you can share with the stylist. Um, then what you'll want to do is use resources like Wedding Wire or designers' websites to obviously find the right um, shop that's performing virtual consultations. On our website now, we actually have a list of all of our retailers that have signed up to do those. So you can actually use that as a resource. Um, and then just really share, share, with the, that, that, um, sorry, share with that boutique once you've um, started that virtual consultation on you know, what you're interested in, where your venue is, um, and they'll really guide you through the process. These stylists are experts. So they'll be able to suggest a, like a, a silhouette neckline that will really flatter your figure. So um, yeah, so really first thing first is, you know, create an inspiration board. And then I would re definitely recommend contacting your nearest retailer or shop that carries some of the designers that you're interested in. And they'll really guide you through the process. Great. And our next question, um, this one's for Beth. Can potential customers request at-home try-ons and are they safe? I know you and I've talked about this a few times. Of course, everyone's health and safety is all of our utmost priority right now. Um, so yes, so many bridal boutiques, as we've all mentioned, are offering at-home try-ons. Every boutique is going to have sort of a different protocol as to how they're handling it. Um, I can tell you at the White Dress by the Shore, we've done a lot of research with experts trying to find out the best way to protect our brides and also pr to protect our staff in this process. 
So what we recommend is um, we will go ahead for brides who are getting married um, in fall or winter of 2020 or early spring of 2021, we are allowing them to, to borrow our gowns that can be special ordered to be sent to their home because we do want to ensure that they will be able to order that gown and have it produced in time for their wedding should it take place this fall, winter, or early spring of 2021. What we recommend is that the um, couple, when they receive the box, have the box sit for 24 hours before they open it. Um, we recommend and that it's best to handle any package, whether it's coming from anyone, um, with gloves. And, you know, open the box after 24 hours. We have a specific period of time where we allow the gown to be at the bride's home for the try-on service. So we build that 24 hours hours in the time frame as to when it has to be returned to us. Then if you want to take extra caution, you absolutely can try the gown on with gloves. It's not necessary, but if someone's really trying to be careful, you can try on with the gloves and a mask if you, if you feel that's the most safe. Um, we highly recommend stepping into the gown. That does a few things. It keeps your face away from the fabric, but it also protects the gown to make sure that the gown isn't going to get damaged or ripped in any way. Um, and then when you package up the gown and send it back the white dress, we then also have it sit in the box for 48 hours before we handle it. Um, and then we take it out of the box. We, we have gloves and a mask when we handle the box and handle the gown and then we let it sit and breathe um, and for a period of time before we send it out again. So we are taking all care and all caution to make sure that everyone in the process is protected all while being sure that our couples can still receive gowns, try them on, and order them within a period of time that will make it available for their wedding day. Makes a lot of sense. Um, so, and our next question, uh, this one is for Crystal. When should someone start shopping for a dress for a July 2021 wedding? Yeah, so um, the common rule of thumb is that you should definitely start looking about eight months in advance and try to place your order six months before your wear date. Um, with Casablanca specifically, we can deliver your dress in 14 to 16 weeks for like a standard delivery. And um, since we are in charge of our own production, we are still offering a rush and super rush option for brides who need it sooner. So if you are a bride in a hurry, we can get your gown in 10 to 12 weeks for a rush and um, six to eight weeks for a super rush. But if you're a bride who's getting married next week, then no problem. Um, we, along with I'm sure other designers as well, maintain an inventory at um, headquarters of all the best selling dresses that can be shipped the same day if it's ordered uh, by noon um, in Pacific Standard Time. Great. So now we are gonna jump to the questions that were submitted um, via Slido. So please keep those questions coming in. Um, the first one is for Wendy. If my wedding is postponed a year and I already have my gown, how do I store it? I'm worried about discoloring. We had a similar question about can a wedding dress mold in a high humidity home or that type of thing. How do we prevent some of that? Yeah, it's a great question. Yes, definitely. You want to put your dress, um, it'll, it'll have a breathable bag like the majority of boutiques, um, it comes with a breathable bag or it's a part of a package that you've gotten with your dress either way. But a breathable bag is super important for the dress. It just allows exactly what it says. It allows it to breathe a little bit. But storing it in a dry place and in a darker place is what you want to do. So your closet is perfect um, or your parents' closet or somewhere where um, your fiance is not going to take a sneak peek if you don't want them to. So, uh, but I would say, don't worry about the fact that it's gonna be hanging there for a while. Honestly, as boutiques, our dresses um, for an entire, you know, for, for two seasons can hang in our boutiques um, and, and it, it's totally fine. The thing is you don't want it to be in direct sunlight. That's what can discolor a dress. So you want to keep it away from direct sunlight. And then also one other thing that will help is the dress, uh, depending on the, the designer manufacturer, it has different straps to put onto the hanger. And I would be very careful with the front straps. There are, there are two straps that kind of are right at the bus line sometimes. Times. And if you hang it from there, it can actually cause that to curl out a little bit over a period of time. And that's something that you just want to avoid. If you use the 
ones that are attached to the strongest part of the dress in a way, which can be the side seams. Many times there's a lot, a lot of inseam there, and that's actually a strong place to hang the dress from the hanger, and it won't um, hurt the dress. So even if it's a year out, it's okay. If your dress is super heavy, if it's like a huge ball gown, which if it is, I would say high five to you, girl. You're, you're, my, you're my girl. You're my heart sister. I love a big ball gown with a huge train. It's awesome. But it's a little bit heavier for sure on the hanger. Those I would be careful with, especially if it's a one-piece gown, not a two-piece gown. Um, and make sure that you're careful with that, that the bodice, um, um, sometimes you can even lay it down for a period of time in the bag if you want to store it under the bed, if it's clean under there. Um, but it's a nice dry, dark space as well. And it's laying down and that takes the weight off of the hanger for a little bit and it won't curl up um, that inner interfacing in the, in the front of the dress. So just some tips on that. Be careful with how you're hanging it. Make sure you're doing it from the side straps and not necessarily the front. Some people have put it on a, um, a mannequin at their house. I've seen some of my brides do that even after the wedding and they're like, I just want to see it all the time. And that's awesome. Go, go for it. That's amazing. Um, but just be careful with the weight of the dress. That's what I would say. That's what affects um, where it hangs on the hanger. And then do keep it in a dry place that's dark. And Kristen, if I could just add to that super quick, um, another option is that our um, clean, some cleaning and preservation companies that our bridal boutiques work with are offering a preservation service. So if it is a really extended, all of the, the options that Wendy gave are awesome and perfect. But if you, you really want to take an extra step and really want to make sure that the gown is really protected for an extended period of time, you can put it in a preservation box that your bridal boutique can help to facilitate for you. And basically what that is, it just gets, the bodice gets stuffed with acid-free tissue. It gets folded very carefully with acid-free tissue and it get, gets placed in an acid-free box that you can let you can place or store laying down under a bed or in a closet and that will also help to protect it over a period of time if you want to take that extra step and extra level of caution. And I think that's so important um, what you know what this question is and what we're talking about because yes as um, with what Crystal was saying as far as time frame of ordering your dress right like you can get a dress in um, um, some amazing time frames right now which is awesome but I will say in an environment where it feels like things can change from day to day. Um, the most secure thing for brides is actually to get their dresses right now about 10 to 12 months out from their wedding because the alterations that need to happen leading up into the wedding and the timing of those getting in. So what happens is the dresses get orders ordered, they still come to the boutique and we inspect and steam them and make sure everything is good um, from what we can see on the outside. And then you pick up the dress. Um, you can try it on at home um, and make sure everything's cool. We've been FaceTiming with brides as they do that. And then we make sure there's no surprises from the manufacturer. And then the bride is safe to be like, okay, next step is whenever alterations open up we can go to there but I would tell you don't think that right now the smartest thing is to wait and then try to have enough time to get your dress and then do alterations I'm just throwing this out there because it's important for you to know um, the sooner if your wedding is in a year it is now that's necessary to get your dress um, waiting could put you in a very insecure spot and that is not what we want for you or for your wedding just saying no that, that that's great advice and that's as tease up my next question um, um, for Nairi, my it, she says my wedding is in six months, and I fear that I won't have enough time to order a dress. Is shopping online my only option right now? What are my options? I love it. Um, there's actually tons of options. So Wendy, I think kind of touched on this a little bit earlier in terms of sample gowns being available, where you can purchase a gown immediately. It's ready for you. You actually get to save some money. Who doesn't love that? So that's incredible. Um, a lot of stores also. Can you hear me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. I thought my AirPod went funky. Um, I heard a little beep. Just wanted to make sure. Um, so another option is that we at Lavella have brand new dresses that have never been worn that you can purchase immediately. Those are at the full MSRP, but we stock some of our dresses that we know for brides who have either procrastinated or have a life issue where they need to rush the wedding. You have to consider it, even though, yes, there's a pandemic happening, in life, there are so many brides that have to have a wedding really quick. So all the bridal stores are fully equipped with options. This does not mean you should procrastinate and wait. Your options do become a little more limited, but the great news is, is that you do have options. So it would be a sample gown, gowns that we have in store that are available, 
all of our manufacturers, we're keeping in touch with them. They have various styles that they, they can quick ship or you could pay a rush fee to get. But again, there is gonna be some extra money that may come out of pocket for rush fees and things of that sort. The sooner you can get shopping, the better. But if your wedding's in six months, we've still got you covered. Do not panic, don't stress. As soon as we're able to reopen, go ahead and book your appointment, come on in and we'll get you taken care of. Great. Um, and this one, this next one's for Justin. What are your thoughts on brides custom designing their own gown? Is it possible to take a signature look from a designer and tweak it? Example, the neckline or something like that to customize. Absolutely. Um, most designers like ourselves offer um, customizations. So what we do is we work with our, an individual store and that store will basically walk the bride through the process. We have a custom order form with everything that's available to customize, including train length, um, adding beaded buttons, buttons all the way down the hem, pockets, neckline changes, everything. So it's absolutely possible to customize your, your gown. Typically it adds about two to four weeks to the time it takes us to complete a, a purchase order. Um, but absolutely, um, we love customizing gowns and it's certainly something that's possible for our collections. And I, can I jump into that too, Ooh. Kristen? About, I want you guys to know, we, as, as boutiques, this is what we do all the time. We customize dresses all the time. So it's not, um, we're loving even more options that some of us are having right now with different designers to, to even go from scratch and design with you. But the reason that's important for you to know is this, to, to have you by yourself try to create a dress from scratch is the most dangerous and scary thing in the world. <laughs> because if it comes, it's almost one of those things where you're like, um, well, I'm glad that it's, it's mine. That's what I'm glad about. But it might not blow your mind as far as the design. So you might have a vision that you're trying to create that you don't see as options out there. That's what we can do with you. We know what the designs do. We know how they fit on your frame. We know what options to suggest. And we know how to think outside the box with you. We love people who want to create their dresses. I mean, we're obsessed with it. So you are not limited. In fact, you have more options with a stylist um, because they know the designers, they know what's, what's possible and they dream better than anyone. You're dealing with somebody who dreams all the time about how to make um, somebody's vision come to life. And they've got the practical experience to help you. So don't take the risk by yourself and don't feel alone. You should never feel alone in this process. Somebody's, we can hear you and we can absolutely help that dream to come true with the designers we have. And it's super fun. You guys, it's so fun to do. And then when that dress comes in, it's like, oh my goodness, it's a party. So yeah, don't be afraid. It's where, it's where it's at. Great. Um, so this next one's for Crystal. Um, so it's in this instance where bridesmaids can't necessarily all go to a, maybe a salon because they're closed to try on different um, types of dresses. What, what are some silhouettes that look good on all shapes and sizes? Oh, I would definitely say um, an A-line gown. I feel like that just sort of complements every sort of shape and figure um, for any sort of bride and is just like a timeless look um, that can be stylized in any way um, and adding with like a veil. I just think it's a good look for every bride. Great. And what are some other options if you really can't, um, and you know, um, perhaps Beth or, or Wendy or, um, or um, Miri, you could take the one of these. What are some options if you, um, if you, your bridesmaids can't all shop together? How do they choose a dress that really fits them? I think it's about finding a universal style that's flattering on everyone. I mean, let's, let's face it, women come in all shapes and sizes and we have to recognize that. And with an average bridal party being about seven women, you're gonna have all different body types. So I think you can use technology right now, right? So you can all get on a Zoom call and sh have the bride share her screen and pull up the website of either the bridal boutique and then have that lead to different designers and have a conversation about what everyone feels comfortable with. Maybe in that bridal party, everybody loves to wear strapless because believe it or not, strapless is a very universal um, flattering silhouette. Um, it's just a matter of having the right undergarments and the right structure underneath and having it altered to perfection. So I think really having a conversation with your bridesmaids and try to come to a conclusion on what everyone feels comfortable with. That whole bridal party might want to, you know, rock it and do something a little, a fit to flare and a little bit on the sexier side. Um, so I think it's, you know, coming together and having conversations and being 
being really open about what everyone feels comfortable with. But, you know, to Crystal's point, an A-line silhouette is timeless and classic and universally flattering on everyone in terms of a skirt shape. Um, so you even could pick a skirt shape like that. Everybody has the same A-line skirt shape, but maybe everybody varies their top based on the type of top that they tend to gravitate towards when they wear a more formal dress. I mean, I think every woman really has sort of a, a silhouette that they love, whether it's a V-neck, a halter, strapless. And so it's a safe bet for them to just choose just their neckline shape if you've agreed on a skirt shape. And that's a great way to, um, to all work together when you can't possibly be together. And you guys, when you do this, T post pictures of it and and make it a party with your bridesmaids the way that you would have before like you know there are birthday parties happening on zoom there's anniversary parties happening there's prom happening with you know bachelorette parties and, yeah. and bachelorette parties and all the things and what why i say to post pictures of it is because as an industry like we want to celebrate with you good grief we want to be like yeah girl you had your party and you deserved it um and know that when you work with a stylist during that that is her focus too she wants to party with you and she will she will actually make your party so fun while walking you through the options you can see them on too so after you, you've done exactly what Buzz said and you and your girls have have got an idea then bringing in and being able to see them and see swatches in person whatever it is that we can um that, that you need to make you secure in the decision but then also celebrating the moment is super key so think outside the box with your celebrations there are people by the way there's there's people that are really developing outside of the box things right now for venues and stuff. There's one that's popped up that it's called Arrived. They're just starting and it's like all these different unique venues and stuff. Same with these kinds of experiences. People are thinking of new ways to party um, and we're talking about that on quite a few different forums and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, but it's fun. Make it fun with your girls and don't miss out on that party. Awesome. Um, Nairi, we're getting some questions about accessories and when we should be purchasing accessories. So perhaps you already have your dress, but you haven't decided on a veil or those types of things. How far out do you need to be making those decisions and placing those orders? Absolutely. So we have, we work with various different accessory designers. So you'll definitely want to reach out to your store that you're working with to find out what those ship dates typically average. We have an accessory designer that takes four months approximately to get, sometimes six months. We have another one that we can get in two months. So you do have options. I would say that if you can, in a perfect world, your dress a year before, accessory six months before. I also recommend when you're buying your dress, if you can do the accessories all in that appointment, do it. Because what happens is the store could potentially sell their sample and no longer have it. Then you have to wait for your dress to come in to then do the accessories. And I, I highly, highly recommend that you make your accessory decision while in your dress so you can get all the feels of everything coming together. So that's something that I highly recommend. Again, at Lavella, we also keep veils in stock because we have brides who procrastinate and some of our veils do take six months depending on how elaborate they are. And we want to make sure that each bride gets their dream dress with the veil and the accessories. I mean, it completes your look. I could have 10 brides in the exact same dress and the way each of them accessorize it and make it personal to themselves makes the dress look completely different. So I've actually had friends that have worn the same dress and their guests, they had similar guests and no one realized that their dresses were the same because of the way they accessorized. So just communicate with your store. They'll get you covered. Don't panic about it. You're going to be good. But again, the sooner you can make the decision on all the things, the better. Great. And this is sort of, this isn't necessarily COVID related, but I think a, a fun question and um, I'm going to throw this to Justin and then Crystal, I'd love for you to weigh in too. Um, so what are some of the most popular wedding dress styles right now? And are there any bridesmaids dress colors that are, that are going to be really popular in 2020, but going into 2021? I'm going to focus on the, the wedding dresses just because we don't currently do yep. bridesmaids. Um, but in terms of neckline shape, um, V-necks are extremely popular and off the shoulders are huge as well. Um, Brides are loving a, a plunge neckline, so you can get that in either of those two necklines. Sweetheart is always popular. We love to do a sweetheart neckline with an off-the-shoulder strap, so a bride can really customize their look on the reception and the ceremony. In terms of shape, it really varies. As Crystal said before, A-lines are always a safe bet, um, but we're very mu much known for our ball gowns, and um, the fit and flare silhouette is extremely popular 
in the U.S. and and generally, it's brides really love that that silhouette. So um, I would say that yeah, off the shoulder fit and flare are probably one of the most popular looks right now. And in terms of uh, other details, um, low backs are huge, and also train details are really important right now as well. Yeah, definitely um, agree with Justin. Everything that he just said uh, to add on as well, something that we've noticed a lot with is um, like detachable pieces to create sort of uh, two looks with one. So detachable like off the shoulder sleeves or detachable long sleeves um, and also uh, detachable skirts. That's been really big we've seen. And um, another popular accessory that we've actually been seeing a lot of and have gotten a lot of requests for is just capes. So that's something that um, has really been popular these days. So, yeah. I love a cape. Yeah. So I was gonna get gonna get married again. Cape yeah. Sorry, not not to have just a, a moment with the cape, but um, and then um, Wendy, this is this is sort of a softball, but my dress is already my dress is already purchased. It's a ball gown, but due to ga large gathering restrictions, we are gonna just gonna go to the courthouse. Is it silly to wear a gown to the courthouse? Oh my goodness, I love this question. Oh, and I, I absolutely, it's not silly. It is the best thing ever, honestly. This dress is about who you feel yourself to be. It is who you are. And that, abs you should wear that thing and take all the pictures in the world and share them with the world because it is, it's, it's, we have, listen, before all this even, we have brides wearing ball gowns on the beach. And we have brides wearing a slip dress in a cathedral because it, it does, your venue does not define your dress. Absolutely, it does not. Your venue expresses you and everything else revolves around that. And I would love nothing more than for all brides out there. Listen, I don't care what age you are and I don't care what your venue is. You wear what you feel beautiful in and you are going to light up. In no way should this event make you settle for anything less than what you were, you were feeling in when you had that dress on. Um, you're going to put it on and you're going to love it and we're going to love the pictures and shoot, it might even go viral because this is the statement that needs to be made right now is that who we are is stronger and better and brighter and more beautiful because of this. We are not muted. We actually have a loudspeaker on the love that's in your life. So that's what I would say. We, we talk, we're, we're talking about a lot of subjects about this like expressing ourselves and um, um, we even uh, because of this conversation too there's um a, we started this thing called bride life where we're just talking about what happens now and how it affects the rest of your life and ways to hit save on it and this is a perfect one where you're going to the courthouse these memories need to be celebrated and captured and then the rest of your life know that it's those things that make your story amazing you're writing your story and it doesn't stop even at the wedding day um you're just starting so it's it's paid one chapter one and so hit save on all of it love it and then celebrate things like that the rest of your life great thank you and um beth i'm gonna throw this one to you we've gotten a few questions um and we touched on this a little bit earlier but um about alterations and just um i may not be able to have dress alterations until about a month out of my wedding is that possible what are your suggestions um and it, that's essentially it's the short timeline that people are concerned about yeah, you know, in a perfect world, it's actually best to have your alterations closer to your wedding day because there's less room for error, there's less room for weight loss. You know, in a, in a, in a normal um, scenario, we can't always do that with, a, with our bridal boutiques because as you can imagine, we're seeing a large volume of brides. So we need to space everything out to be able to fit everyone in. So it's, it's, it's absolutely okay to do it in a short time frame. And actually in a lot of cases, it's better because you should then be able to, to create um, the, the complete look and the beautifully fitted gown in, sh in less fittings because there's less is going to happen in between. There's less time and less opportunity for things like weight loss or weight gain to happen between each fitting. So the best thing that I can say, just to, to echo what Nairi said before, is communicate, communicate, communicate with your seamstress or your bridal boutique. Find out from them when they anticipate that they are opening, knowing that for many stores and many seamstresses, 
because it is a moving target. But just continue, continually communicate with them. The best thing that you can do is tee everything up and be ready to go when they open, meaning having all of your undergarments, anything that you plan to wear underneath your dress, have all of your, sh have your shoes ready um, and confirmed because the heel height is so important and have all of your accessories and anything, any finishing touches, whether you're going to have some kind of detachable sleeve or strap, or if you are changing seasons of your wedding and you decide that you want to add a sleeve, talk to your bridal boutique about ordering that fabric so that it arrives in time for your alterations so that can all be taken care of. And then just be super flexible. The best advice I can give is be as flexible as you possibly can. I keep saying to my brides, you know, it's we're going to kind of feel like we're back in, in kindergarten when we're in, we're choosing the crayon box. And the teacher says, you get what you get and don't be upset. So you're going to have to, you know, maybe given an option of what is the time frame that's going to work with the bridal store. And you may have to be flexible to work with that because you have to be cognizant that the bridal store or seamstress is now having to take a large number of brides and fit them into a very short period because of the way everyone's been arranged. But if you can plan ahead as best of, as possible within the constraints that we have and communicate with your store and be flexible, it absolutely is achievable and can be done in time for your wedding. And I think it's also, we've spoken about this before, um, but just the art that um, is all, that are alterations, right? And the se and a seamstress and the ability to do that is just so hard to come by. So um, it's not like it's um, we can just hire more seamstresses because that's just not. I have to ask that you know our couples and our brides in particular who are getting their gowns altered to have grace. Yeah. And just to understand the constraints that your bridal store and your seamstresses are in. And we want more than anything in the world to make sure that you look and feel beautiful on your wedding day. We have the same end goal. It's just going to take a little bit of flexibility on both of our parts to make it happen. But if we work together, we can. I totally, uh, you know, that's such good advice that Beth is giving there. I just have to like second that. And then uh, to the customizing thing, like I know with um, are the designers that, that many stores carry, they literally can make it to your custom measurements. So I know Casablanca offers this. I know Justin has done this for some of our brides as well, but so that it's fewer alterations than normal, but in the same amount of time for your dress to come in. And I think it's an option that brides should absolutely explore right now is to not be afraid of that, to be like, hey, this is wonderful. The dress will come in and as close as possible fit to my frame. You may have to tweak it here and there, but it's gonna be absolutely actually more wearable right out of the gate um, than what it could be just ordering standard size charts. So take the tip and, and go with that. Mm -hmm. um, so, the next, so this question, I, I, I really want to get out there. Um, Crystal, I'm going to throw this to you and Justin, I'd love for you to weigh in as well. Um, are designers still producing wedding gowns and should we expect a slower turnaround time? Sorry, I cut out at the end there a little bit. I'm sorry. It was, um, are designers still producing wedding gowns and should we expect a slower turnaround time? Um, well, for Casablanca specifically, um, I can't speak for all designers, mm -hmm. uh, like I was saying, we're in a bit of a unique position where we are our own manufacturer, um, and we were really fortunate where um, our production actually wasn't as negatively affected by the coronavirus, so actually uh, we were able to get back into production right away, and um, there was about a week delay um, before in February, but now everything is back on track and um, we are still producing gowns and everything is um, normal for over there. But now it's actually kind of flipped where they're not receiving as many orders as they were, uh, as they are now. So it's kind of flipped. So, but yeah, every production is back on track and everything. Great. And similar situation for Justin Alexander. Um, we're absolutely 100% operational with all of our factory partners, which is great. Um, and also we actually keep uh, our materials on hand, an extra surplus of about 25 units for those rush orders that we often get. So um, there are no restrictions at all on what's orderable, everything's available. Um, so absolutely, um, production is running as normal. Great. And then um, there are a few questions here about um, uh, having planning for a wedding that is happening this year, but they haven't purchased their dress yet. Uh, any thoughts on that? Yeah. What their options are? Well, I, yeah, I mean, for, for manufacturers like ourselves in Casablanca, um, we absolutely are going to be able to turn around dresses quickly. We do actually um, 
uh, produce some extra inventory on top styles um, just for the brides that do need a quicker turnaround time. So uh, working with any of our bridal boutique partners, you'll be able to you know, have access to those inventories and those dresses for quicker turnarounds. The key is really you know, starting now, reaching out to a shop that's performing virtual consultations and learn from them what is available. Um, something that we're also doing right now that we're super excited about is we're hosting uh, virtual trunk shows. Um, so those will be premiered on Facebook and you can kind of like, we can walk you through the dresses and we're also gonna talk a little bit about dresses that are easier to alter. So we're gonna tr really try to educate brides through this process and give them tips on which dresses would be the right ones for them to pick if they do have a quick turnaround. Great. Um, so that, those are all the questions that we have. Um, I wanna thank our panelists so much for your expertise and for just walking all of the brides and couples through these, these questions. We know that this is, you know, this is a very exciting time, but it, it's feeling um, there, there are new challenges, right? And so I just wanna thank everyone. Um, we hope you're walking away feeling inspired and more informed. Um, and make sure to follow along for more upcoming wedding attire Q&A on the Knots Instagram. And again, thank you to our panelists and our bridal design partners, Casablanca and Justin Alexander, Allure, Maggie Sotero, and Maury Lee. And we'll see everyone very soon. So thank you so much. Bye. Bye.